In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a vocal formant-like tone on the Moog Matriarch. So this technique involves modulating the filter cutoff at audio rate. So we could use the modulation section, which is hardwired to modulate the filter cutoff. So the sound does not involve any patching with the patch cables. Alright, so let's start with the oscillator section. It doesn't really matter what you set here, but we need something that's harmonically rich. So I'll set all four to the sawtooth shape. I'm also going to be in monophonic mode for this. All the oscillators are set to the same pitch, and I'll also set them to the same octave. For the filter, I'm going to set it to the stereo mode. But I'm also going to make sure that the spacing is in the center, so it's pretty much mono. Alright, now let's look at the modulation section. If I increase this cutoff amount dial, and push up the mod wheel. Now this modulation LFO is modulating the filter cutoff. I'm going to switch this to a sine wave shape. Let's try that again. We can hear that, but we'll hear it better if the cutoff is set to a lower value. So now you can hear the positive as well as the negative modulation. If I slow this down, now we're more in the LFO territory so we can hear the actual modulation. But I'm going to crank this up so it's at audio rate. And now we don't really hear the movement on the filter cutoff, but a new tonality. You'll notice it sounds a bit like digital aliasing. The filter currently does not have resonance, so let's increase the resonance amount to about the center position. And I'll set the same on that first filter. And now as I move that cutoff dial, at specific positions, you'll start to hear some vocal-like tonality in the sound. So modulating the filter cutoff at audio rate is critical for this sound. Now if I bring down the resonance on both filters, we're not quite going to get that same effect. So the resonance being set to a high value is also critical for this sound. I could even add a bit more resonance. To make the sound a bit more aggressive, we could increase the level on the mixer here for all the four oscillators. Now you can fine tune the different parameters like the cutoff amount control here, the actual cutoff on the filter itself, and even the rate on the LFO. But you'll notice that you'll start to lose the vocal performance if the rate is not fast enough. Alright, now I want to modulate that filter cutoff with the filter envelope. So let's increase this envelope amount parameter here. For the envelope itself, I'll set the sustain to about the halfway mark. Give it a little bit of attack, a little bit of decay, and some release. On the amp envelope also, I'll have some release. Sustain full and attack all the way down. The envelope amount is a bit too high, so let's bring that down. Let's set the filter cutoff also lower. That sounds about right. So now I don't have to adjust the filter cutoff by hand and we get that forming shifting effect. Now just out of curiosity, we could switch this to a full voice paraphonic mode and have a listen to it. Still works, but ideally this is a monophonic patch. 
Yay, 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 yay. All right, so I hope you found that helpful. And please stay tuned for more sound design tutorials on the Moog Matriarch.